Hello guys, my name is Hugo. I'm a Los Angeles based cinematographer and uh, today I want to do somewhat interesting video. Um, on the Filmmakers Academy I saw a video where uh, Shane was testing a wireless video and uh, besides wireless video he was testing some uh, monitors and uh, what was interesting about it is because we all think that usually the delay that we receive when we pull in focus or viewing the remote monitor is only because of the wireless video. But uh, it turns out that uh, in many cases, it's not only wireless video that can cause a delay. It can be also a monitor itself. So I decided to get uh, some of my monitors that I have and test them out to see if I get a delay uh, on the monitor directly wired from the camera via SDI cable straight to the monitors. And uh, the, the way it's going to be tested is uh, I'm going to be basically sending the feed to the monitor and I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to do a clap and I'm just going to see how much of delay we actually can see on the monitor. So let's start with this uh, Sony OLED which is a reference monitor. It's a very high-end uh, critical uh, color uh, monitor. And let's see how it plays. As, uh, as I can see, it doesn't have any delay. So it's instant, which is pretty good. Uh, let's uh, move on to next monitor. So I have this, uh, uh, let me put this down for now. So the next one's gonna be OC monitor. Let's power this up. And let's hook up the cable to SDI in. Okay, I do receive video now. Okay, let's see. Well, this one looks instant too. No visible delay at all. Okay, let's see. Next is gonna be, it's a, it's not expensive monitor, it's a, I don't remember the brand of it, but it's, it's pretty cheap uh, from Amazon monitor, some kind of Chinese. But it's surprisingly works really well, you know, like I've had it for like a few years and it's, it's it was giving me decent colors. And uh, it has a lot of uh, uh, settings, your flip image and all the kind of stuff that some monitors don't have. Okay, let's see. If this uh, chip monitor can give us you with the monitor. Okay, let's see. Well, this one feels pretty instant too. Okay, moving on to Atomos. Shogun Flame. I was actually expecting that the cheap Chinese monitor would perform not as well as the rest of it. Okay, let's see. The Atom of Shogun Flame. Surprisingly, this one feels a tiny bit slower. But it's, I think, to a decent point where you can pull focus. Okay, moving on to... Um, small HD. Cine 7. Okay. Let's see. This is one of the most popular monitors. And let's see if we can... And... As expected, instant, no visible delay. Okay, we also have this uh, new uh, Holy Land Pyro 7. Let's see how that perform.
This one feels a lot like an Atomos. It has a little bit of delay, but not too much. Not to a point where you can't use it. Okay, and the last one's gonna be uh, Shinobi Atomos. Okay. Just like the other Atomos, it has almost the same delay, which is not too bad, somewhat usable. But as we can see, the best performing uh, from what I just saw it was a small HD, uh, the OC, and the Sony were the best to by the feeling what I, what I saw.